the infrastructure systems is that uh, they are physical networks. So water flow networks are networks where there is a flow of water through an urban distribution network. Electricity networks are networks where there is a flow of electricity from generation down to the transmission, distribution and consumption nodes. Um, so when these networks, these physical networks of electricity and mass flow are instrumented with sensors and actuators, what happens is that the IT system, which is comprised of sensing elements, communication networks and control units, starts influencing the physical dynamics. And, and, and this is where the coupling between the cyber part, which is, which is these net, this communication networks and the IT devices, and the physical dynamics come into play. And this coupling is what we call as cyber physical systems or CPS. And to be able to sort of control these cyber physical systems, not only one has to keep into mind what abilities these communication networks and sensing devices provide to us, but you also have to ensure that the physical dynamics are respected. The real-time properties which are required by the physical dynamics are respected. Because if these physical dynamics are not respected, then very bad things can happen. It can result in incidents, it can result in safety violations. And if these safety violations are exceeded, it may result in loss of lives because the humans use the system or uh, permanent damage to equipment, uh, to protection equipment in these networks, uh, which could be very costly to repair. So one of the questions in which the communication networks uh, can impede with the physical network is when, uh, for example, an external entity like a malicious hacker or an insider like a disgruntled employee who has been fired of his or her job gets access to the communication network and it's an unauthorized access where that entity should not be allowed to play with the data, with the information which is affecting the dynamics. So when such compromises happen, when one or more of these entities um, can gain access to the system, they can do a number of bad things. And one of the things which they can do is that they can bypass existing uh, security and fault tolerant mechanisms and try to manipulate the data the critical data which is required for sensing and actuation and spoof it or, or, or make it untrustworthy. And as a result of it, if bad actions are implemented, then the physical effects can show up. Leaks or bursts can happen in water networks. Uh, disruptions, localized or cascading failures can happen in electricity distribution networks. Or more accidents can happen, more congestion can result in highway networks. So the other thing which an adversary can do is to sort of jam packets or jam communication uh, between critical nodes of the system. And when such a jamming behavior happens, what uh, results is that the information which is supposed to reach in let's say two seconds or two milliseconds instead now reaches in two minutes or is never reaches. And when this happens, uh, the critical decision-making points where the decision has to be taken, those time points are missed. Okay. And this is the loss of availability of information. And such a loss of availability of information can really result in the loss of stability and safety in extreme cases. So, so the, fact, the fact that the physical dynamics are manipulatable by the cyber dynamics or the, by the cyber means is good in one hand because it gives us more monitoring and control, but it also raises this new threat channels in which, uh, to, to, against which we have to defend against. You know, we, have to, we have to take care of how to improve the robustness and resilience of the systems so that such bad things, if they happen, first of all they should not happen and if they happen, uh, immediate breakdown of critical services is delayed or does not happen.